So in this video, we're going to find the determinant of these two matrices. This one's a two by two, this one three by three. Now, this one is obviously the more simpler technique to, uh, to use, but the technique in this one is also used in this one. So it's good to know this one first. So let's make a start on this one first. So determinant of A, so that is worked out by this particular formula. So what we'll do is we'll letter each one of the units inside there. We'll call it A1, A2, and then B1, B2. And then what we do is we draw a little cross in the middle. And what we do is now we multiply the crosses on the diagonals. So A1 times B2, so determinant equals a sorry lowercase a a1 times b2 minus a2 times b1 and now what we're going to do now is plug those formulas into this one to find the uh, determinant of this matrix so a1 times b2 that's 2 times 1 so it's 2 times 1 minus a2 times B1, 4 times minus 3. So simplifying this up, it's 2 minus, 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. 2 minus minus 12 is 14. And there we have it. That's the determinant of this one. Now for this one, we use a similar technique but first of all, to show you the uh, easiest way, I'm going to just letter these up as we did here. So we'll just call it like this. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. And this time we need C's, C3. Okay, and then what we do is here now, we find, we go along the top, find the first letter, a1, in this case it will be 3, and then we find the determinant of this matrix here. After that we subtract it from this letter here, this one here, A2, this case is 7, and then we multiply it by making a matrix out of this one's here and this one's here. And then we're going to add it with A3, in this case it's 4, and multiply the determinant by the determinant of the matrix made out of these. So let's just write that down. So determinant, let's just put a line down here, determinant equals, so A1 times this matrix here. So if I write that down just as determinant for now, B2, B3, C2, C3, okay? And then we subtract, and then we go A2 times determinant away from these, parts here. So it will be B1, C1, B3, C3. And then the next one we do, we add. So if you remember, we alternate the signs. If I put a plus there, obviously don't need to because it's not needed, put a plus there and then we go A3 times determinant and then this makes you see here, B1, B2, C1, C2. Okay, let's plug all the numbers in from this matrix here and we'll find the determinant of B. So determinant of B equals 3 times the matrix here, 2, 4, minus 3, 1. Well, this matrix here, 2, 4, minus 3, 1, we've already calculated that out. So I'm just going to write that in there so as you can see, what we're going to do so three times the determinant so that's our a1 times the determinant of this matrix here so that's two four minus three and one okay now we subtract a2 which is seven times determinant of B1, B3, C1, 3, 3, and C3. So these two and these two. So in this case, we've got minus one and zero. 
four, one. And then we're going to add A3. A3 in this case is four. Times that by the determinants of this matrix here, B1, B2, C1, C2. So make the matrix out of this one. Minus one, two, zero, minus three. Okay, so this one, as I said, we already know that. So it's three times, let's plug in the number for that, which was 14. That's three times 14. And then we subtract seven times. Okay, using this technique here with the cross, A1, B2, A2, B1. So minus one times one. Let's just write that in there, minus one times one minus four times zero, four times zero is zero, but I'll just write four times zero in there so you can see it. And then add four times, again, using the cross method like this. So these two multiply together, minus one times minus three, minus two times zero. Okay, two times zero, which is going to be zero. Okay, let's simplify up. Three fourteens, forty-two. Okay, let's quickly do these in our head because it's one zero here, so there's nothing to do there. So minus one times one is minus one, so that's minus one times seven. So minus one times seven is minus seven. And then we're going to add, okay, minus 1 times minus 3 is positive 3, times 4 is 12. Obviously, this 2 times 0, we don't need, that's just gone, that's just 0. So 4 times 3, that's 12. So all we're going to do now is add these up. 42 minus minus 7 gives us 49, plus 12 gives us 61. Okay, so what we can say is the determinant of B. 61. Okay.